Hey, guy from New Plastic, and if you thought the Z Depth Pass is only used for depth of field lure, I'll show you a few more things you can do with it in post. Check out the latest procedural concrete and plaster pack on my Gumroad, one of my favorite packs of mine. And if you can, consider further support on Patreon and membership. Lots of sick perks there. Follow me on Instagram at ojang. Subscribe, share, comment, bell, lift some weights. Good for your mind, not just for your body. Let's go. So I have this simple scene with a bunch of weird sculptures, a large area light from the top right, and a large negative fill from the left. Let's add a Z-depth pass and we can increase the depth to catch more of the objects in the back. That looks good. Let's also add a crypto mat pass and set it to geometry nodes. So you can see we have a mask for each element. Cool. And actually one last thing, in the AOV group tab, in info sampling mode, set it to non-distributed without pixel filtering. This as you can see will render our Z depth without anti-aliasing. If I leave it on default, you can see there's anti-aliasing on the edges and that will give us weird artifact on the edges when working with this pass. Anti-aliasing creates a smooth edge by creating a soft transition from dark to white, which in post-comping will be read as different depth values. So we need it to be sharp like this. Okay, let's render this and go to After Effects. Let's import the renders, create a comp from the beauty pass, drag the AOV EXR above it and apply the extractor plugin. I think it comes automatically with After Effects today, but if not, you can download it for free i'll link it in the description with this you can access the different pass layers the exr contains let's choose the z depth cool now usually this pass would be used to add depth of field blur my favorite plugin for that is frisch Luft's depth of field it does an amazing job let's apply it on the beauty pass and here we can see the depth information. We get nothing because we need to feed the plugin a depth pass. So here we'll select our depth layer and change source to effects and masks. That's important because the depth information is coming from the extractor plugin and is not baked into the image. We also want to invert the pass because the plugin reads white as front and black as back, the opposite of what Octane exports. Now let's look at the sharp zone and everything is in the sharp zone right now. So let's increase the blur amount and drag the focal point back till we get the sharp zone to focus on the object that we want. And let's see how we're looking. Looks great, perfect. Classic use of the depth map, but let's see what else we can do with it. Let's duplicate this comp. I'll remove the depth of field plugin. I'll add a solid layer and use the depth layer as a luma mat for it. In the new After Effects, I can switch between Alpha Matte and Luma Matte with this button, but in the previous version, you'll just have two different matte options from the list. And look how cool, I added fog in two seconds. The solid is being masked by the white areas in the depth map, so it's slowly getting stronger as we go deeper in Z space. And I can add a curves effect to the depth layer and make it brighter or darker to expose more or less of the fog. So quick and so powerful. I also find myself using this a lot when I don't have time to render fog volumes, which takes forever. Cool. Let's duplicate this comp and now let's mask out this solid layer to remove the top part. Let's blur the mask and we're getting some mist on the floor now and it looks better if we add a few more layers. So let's duplicate it, set the second solid to track the second depth layer, drag the solid mask down. And actually the first depth layer is too bright. So let's bring it back to normal and the second depth layer make brighter. So the bottom mist layer is masking more of the front of the image. And you can play around with the masks and depth exposure to adjust it. But again, an extremely easy and quick effect that will take a long time to create and especially to render inside cinema. Cool, let's duplicate the comp, get rid of all this. And let's say we want to integrate a text into the image. What I like to do is to add a threshold effect to the depth layer and that clips the gradient to black and white. So now I can adjust the threshold to control at what depth the transition happens. And if I set the depth layer to be a luma mat of the text layer, I can super easily control where the text will be placed in Z space. So effective. I use this a lot for like intro titles and stuff like that. Okay, let's duplicate the comp, get rid of the text layer, and let's add a solid. Apply the depth of field plugin on the solid. Set the depth layer as source. Remember to choose effects and masks and let's add some blur. Now, here's a cool trick. If I set the show to sharp zone, it just gives me a visual of the sharp area, which I can use as an actual image. Let's change the solid color to black and level the gray to white. And also let's pre-comp the solid and depth layer together. Now we can use this whole thing as a luma mat. Like for example, on a solid layer,
And we can also animate the sharp zone location by animating the focal point setting. And isn't that so cool? I remember using this technique in a music video I made and I got so excited. And we can also add a glow. Or maybe we should pre-comp these two together. And now the glow will work. So sick. And if we go to the base mask comp, I can extract the crypto mat using the crypto mat plugin. If you don't have it, I'll put the link in the description as well. So I can just click on the mask I want and it'll make it white and then I'll set the output to matte only and I can mask the sharp zone layer to only that one object. Ah, so fucking cool. And you can really go wild with this. You can render out the same image with two different textures and animate this mask exposing the different textures or add any kind of effect in post. Sky's the limit here. Okay, let's duplicate the comp. And look, you can also just use the depth layer for its own unique look. I love the way it looks just on its own. It has this dark vibe to it, combining a 3D space with a flat 2D look. Uh, in my early 3D days, I used to just use this pass as is. Um, or, you know, just parts of it. You can mask it and combine it with the original image. Especially if you add some cool color to it. Look at this, I absolutely love this. Such a unique look. Or for example, if I crush the levels. And again, I can mask it out using the crypto mat layer. How sick is this? We get some nasty edges here, but we can just add some blur to the crypto mat and adjust the levels till we clean up those edges. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, your creativity here is the limit. Like for example, instead of a colored gradient, I can keep the gradient grayscale. I can add an adjustment layer and add a displacement effect to it. Use that gradient as the displacement source. In this prism displacement, I'll set the refraction to one on all channels. I'll use the top layer as a luma mat. Maybe soften the displacement. And now I can get this very subtle 3D distortion. It works best on low values. Or I can add the default dis displacement effect and do the same thing. Again, works best on low values, but if I crank it up, you get some cool, unique distortions. I can tone down the contrast on the gradient and... Yeah, it's a bit smoother now. But yeah, a lot of cool, unexpected results, nothing too fancy, just stuff I've been using for the past couple of years and wanted to share with y'all. Post comping is your friend, use it, don't be afraid of it, whether it's in After Effects, Photoshop, Nuke, whatever. That's it, go get that concrete and plaster pack on my Gumroad if you want, consider support on Patreon if you can, you don't have to, but these lovely Patreons do keep the channel alive, so let's give them a big round of applause. Emmanuel Melas, Yin and Gong, Guillaume Lopez, Dave Toro, Marie Robbins, Svoyth Chari, Eric Hu, Daniel Larry, Minky Kim, Hader, Jamie Nix, Leo, Miss Kick 2S, Peter Rodiger, Yun Ji Shin, Chris Hyde, Alda Boyd, Farong Farong, Katie Royal, Derek Fredrickson, Rasmus Holmquist, Asaf Goldstein, 3D Monkey Biz, Arlen, Suki Violet Su, 22 Design, Joel Rieger, Adrian Desolé, Derek Schultz, Maurice Hickendorf, Studio Image, Matus Jutuzajewski, Blue Hamel, Mark Cragen, Joshua Akoy, Punks of Corn Siri, Webb, Kong Idiot, Matty DeGreldre, Cha Yun Jun, NZE, IEMN, Dolfino666, Ali Esser, RDM, Mouse from Next House, ROM30, Leandro Marimon, May, Baugasm, Shane, Perry Cooper, Big Max, MyZDD, and everybody else on the list. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.